Okay, gang, I don't know what the hell was going on with that last bit. I'll find it. When I find out, I'll let you know. Uh, right now, what I have here on top of my Kmart fan, it was one of the two of my recent acquisitions today. Sunday, the 2nd of August. Here it is. An old Galaxy 9-inch table fan. I have no clue what the model number is. Uh, let's take a look. Uh... I think it says E20739, Type 9F, Style L. If anyone knows what that is, let me know. But, uh, I had one of these years ago. Uh, however, like an idiot, I brought it to work, and unfortunately it suffered the demise. So, I mean, I plugged it in already, and it does work. It's not turned up, it's not plugged in right now, but uh, I'll worry about that one later. This other one, before I forget, excuse the mess that my workshop is also my bathroom, but uh, here is an old, what looks like to be late 70s Galaxy fan. Uh, let me see if I can't get the, well, it's a little dirty. I mean, it does need to be cleaned up. However, and if you've noticed, well, it's plugged in and the thing's turned on, but... I got nothing yet, so it probably just needs a good bit of oil and a good cleanup because it's a little dirty. Very dirty. So, it's a project I'll be working on and hope I can get it running and I'll have a new addition to my recent acquisitions. And yes, here's that old Emerson I told you about last week. Still works fine. So, Oh, and a little bit of tidbit. I got this and that other one for a dollar each, so I made out good on this one, so hopefully when I get this running, I'll get to show you guys and we'll see what happens. And yes, there's Bruno. Well, as you can see, I got, well, as you can see, I got the front grill taken off and the back motor taken off. But see, the like, like I, I like this one because at least there's a screw to it, so you can easily take off the oscillator knob and uh, be able to take the back off. As opposed to some of the newer ones, you literally have to saw it off. And I noticed this, there's a crack. So, yeah, there's a crack there. But I think I can work with it around that. But like I said, who knows what the life was this before I die. I mean, according to all the dust, it was probably used like for too long, 24-7, 365, and then chucked in storage for like 10 years. As opposed to me, at least I turned mine off, cleaned the blades, I cooled down for an hour, and I only chucked it for, in storage for 6 years. But, let's see what we got. Wahaha! <laughs> it's alive! It's alive! Okay, actually, to be honest with you, I cheated. I took the front grill off and jogged it a little bit, kind of started, and then, but still. Let's see how low it works. Ooh. Damn. This feels pretty nice. I think I may have a companion to that other lot, to that old Lasco, which is, yeah, right there. And that one's not getting rid of. Probably the only difference between that one being a Lasco, and this one being a galaxy, is if you notice the ornament design is different. So this might be from a year or two before. So yeah. And for shits and shits and giggles. I'm going to hold it so it won't tip over. Hmm. Probably all those years of dirt and whatever probably gummed up the motor. 
So, so I got it to work. So now, the main thing is, get it cleaned up, then maybe I'll have it looking nice. Check it out, I just found another surprise to this. I'm sure you all know, as opposed to some of them, there's the little threaded end at the end of the shaft. But as you can tell, uh, get this camera to focus properly. Yeah, the screw, is, the screw hole is actually on the shaft, and the screw itself, the threaded part, is on the spinner. So, that's very interesting. Very interesting. So, looks like I'll probably have to get a screw and a washer if this thing ever breaks. But, in fact, while I got it got filmed right now, undo this. Holding that's still the same. Hey, <laughs> nut. Put that there. And I've noticed that the inside of the motor thing ain't really that filthy. So it probably was used for a little while then chucked in storage and well there's a little grime but it's not that bad so so that yeah, can be cleaned up no problem. So. Yeah. Undo these screws and probably zoom spout it. Yeah, it's starting to come up again, so... Probably get some zoom spout and, uh... Yeah. Yep. Took the motor guard off. It's a little dusty, but... Hmm. Might... It might be salvaged. Hey! Yo! Hey. Excuse me for one minute. Sorry about that. Like I said, the uh, motor guard is a little bit dirty, but that can be salvaged. Uh, the motor doesn't look too terribly bad. I mean, the windings, they're a little dusty, but yeah, they're still nice and coppery bright. So, Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to zoom spout some and uh, maybe this will work. Okay. All right, folks, you saw the before one. This was a little all gruddy and grimy, and I mean, you can actually see through the blades pretty good. I did put, I did change one thing, though. You see there behind, by the screwdriver? Those are the original clips that came with it. There's only three. I never really did like them because they tend to break or you lose them. So they're being held together with uh, plastic tie ties, like the other one. So, I mean, let's look at it this way. They're cheap, you can get them at any hardware store, and they do the job just as well. You can get them in nice funky colors if you want, but I'm rambling. So, here we go. <laughs> well, let me turn on the power strip first. Okay. Alright, sorry about that. So here we go with and it might still be a little sluggish because of all the gunk. I didn't take the motor apart. Yeah, that's a nice breeze. Yeah. And a 90 degree oscillating thing? I like it. So, let's turn it off. Yeah, slow down time could use a little work. Still seems tight. Now let's try the high speed. Ooh, wow. Mmm. Man, it feels good. Now, as you can see, there's a medium speed, but whoever uses that? So, 
So, guess what? My $1 fan? Who knows? We'll probably put that together with my... Well, you can't really see it, but... Oh, oh I made comments about that old Kmart box fan I bought for 50 cents. So, I'll buy these old fans cheap, clean them up, and... Uh, well, I'm not going to sell it. I'm keeping it. Because it's nice, and... Yeah, it's nice. Great find. Okay, it's, okay, you probably can't see it, but I promised you guys I would give you the number or whatever, but this is, uh, well, the only ones that I can see is E20739, listed UL154C, type 12-1, of Plant Service Department, P.O. Box 569, Franklin, Tennessee, 37084. So, personally, I don't know if that's, any of that is model numbers or whatever. And another thing, before I forget, uh, I may replace that plug because it is a little tight and well, it was a little tough to get it out of the pl out of the outlet. So that one will probably be replaced. I'm not really sure. <laughs>